Uh, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to a uh, Thursday afternoon afternoon edition of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, finally got a day off after working a couple long days and uh, got a couple days off in a row and then I got another couple long days to follow but uh, figured I, I, I was in the mood for something different, something I haven't had in a while, not really the weather for it at least in my mind but I was in the mood for a Russian Imperial Stout so I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna do the uh, stone on a bottle that says Imperial Russian Stout. Um, Russian Imperial Stout, Imperial Russian Stout, same thing. Uh, a little bit from the website, it says uh, Stone Imperial Russian Stout is so thick, rich, and well sinful you might worry that you'll be doomed to the fiery pitch for just thinking about a sip. Rest assured, however, that even though the seemingly Pernicious brew is indeed as black as sin. We guarantee that no actual sin was committed in making it. You'll have to add that on your own. This massively, massive and intense, intensely aromatic beer abounds with notes of anise, black currants, coffee, and roastiness. And its heavy palate is uh, nothing to be trifled with. Comes in at 10.5% uh, ABV. Just another one of your standard stone caps. This is the 2013 classic release. So. Uh, I know they release it in the spring, so it's for an Imperial Stout. I only got the one, so I might have to pay if it's good. I might have to pick up another for some aging, but uh, let me get this in my uh, 88 cent uh, Goodwill snifter and just see what we have. Well, there's a nice dark, that is black, completely black. I can't see anything. Uh, nice really thick uh, almost ice cream ice cream float looking looking brown head uh, definitely no tan or anything in that that's definitely a definitely a brown head uh, really really good looking for our, for our imperial stout that's the way it's supposed to look so let's get a nose on it okay I'm getting yeah getting some dark sugars uh, molasses getting there's some figs some licorice um, a hit of coffee but um, a lot of fruitiness to it a lot of those dark fruits um, dates uh, plums fig figs in particular not really getting any raisin notes which um, I'm kind of used to seeing uh, the smokiness or the roastiness is um, I like a light smoky roastiness uh, it's a uh, not nearly as heavy as I expected, especially since they uh, they mentioned uh, roast roasty notes in the uh, in their description. I mean, there's a roastiness there, but it's definitely not as uh, not as heavy as I expected. But still, a darn nice, uh, darn nice smelling uh, imperial stout. So let's get a taste. Okay, yeah, it's um really sweet and fruity right up front uh, you're definitely getting those figs again uh, dark sugars a um, uh, bit of licorice there in the middle uh, maybe with some uh, some light slightly bitter hoppy notes there in the middle and uh, finishes with a really really nice um, Nice alcohol taste. The alcohol is, well, it was noticeable on the nose. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's lightly noticeable on the nose, but it's really, really, uh, really noticeable on the finish, um, especially going down. You get a nice little alcohol burn. You don't really get a lot of, I'm not getting really a lot of alcohol taste in it. It's there, but it's light. Um, I'm getting a toasted grain more than a roasty note, so... Like I said, maybe a little, maybe a little vanilla in there too. I don't know if this is barrel aged or not. I don't think it is, but um, those of you familiar with Stone uh, would uh, would uh, probably know better. Um, like I said, they're they're fair, they're re recent to our state. We haven't been able to get Stone, so the few Stones I've done, I've either picked up in Illinois or uh, sent to me in a beer trade. But uh, uh, darn good tasting beer. Um, 
like I said, just a slight touch of a bitter hops to there towards the middle in the finish, along with that alcohol, kind of uh, balances out that uh, real sweetness this, this thing has. It's a, it's a medium full-bodied beer. It's pretty thick, uh, thick beer, but um, there's a slight um, lingering, almost um, sour bitterness to it. It uh, doesn't finish real clean, um, but it's got a really smooth, uh, creamy mouthfeel. Like I said, medium full-bodied. Uh, uh, low low medium carbonation there's there's uh, not a ton of carbon it's not highly carbonated for sure so let me sit um, this was just out of the fridge well out of the fridge been out of the fridge about 20 minutes they say serve it at 55 so I think it's a little it's still probably a little cooler than that so I'll sit here it's a nice day it's um, low 70s uh, low humidity so I don't think it's even going to get to 80 today so Really strange weather for August, so let me uh, sit, sip on this a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Hey, I'm back. It's been uh, ah, 20 minutes or so, maybe even close to half an hour. Uh, I just been sipping on this. It's definitely a sipper. Um, um, the alcohol uh, is, like I said, is noticeable. And as it's warmed up, I think it's warmed up to probably the 55 degrees they say to serve it at, or maybe a little... Uh, little warmer but uh, overall this is a decent um, this is a must try if you're if you, if you like stouts that's for sure um, good solid stout I mean it's really well balanced um, really tasty um, that being said I I'm used to um, and what I prefer are stouts um, with with a little more bitterness, coffee bitterness, or uh, the roast, uh, the dark malt bitterness, or something, and this is a really sweet, sweet stout. Um, definitely, there's there's very little bitterness here. Um, I think that uh, you know I was expecting maybe you know something a little bit more based on other stouts and Stone's reputation, and everything, but uh, uh, I mean it's a really good stout, uh, but the, the balance is such that that nothing really sticks out. Um, you don't you taste the coffee, but it's blended in. It's blended well. Um, really, like I said, really well balanced, blended nicely with everything. But uh, you know, I'd like uh, maybe a little more coffee bitterness coming through, or not not so much sweetness is what I'm saying. Um, it's a, it's a very very subtle stout. That's for sure. I mean, it's delicious. That's for sure, but uh, you know, I, I, I want something just a little more robust, something a little more, you know, out of the ordinary, and uh, this just, uh, in that aspect, doesn't do it, uh, do it for me. Uh, uh, but still, it's a darn good beer. I got, I'm gonna have to give. I've still, all that being said, I'm gonna give the, uh, the stone. Russian Imperial Stout, Imperial Russian Stout. I'm, I'm still going to give it a good solid 9.5 out of 10. It's a damn good beer. Um, if you like stouts um, and you can get it, uh, definitely give it a try. Um, I have a, a bottle of the Espresso Stout. I may, uh, my next out of town trip, I may pick up a couple bottles of this to stick back in the cellar um, to see how it ages. Um, being released in the spring is probably maybe four, four or five, maybe six months old. I'm not sure exactly when it was released. I don't see any. Oh wait, I do see a, a date on the bottle. Never mind. Now I do. Um, but I can't read it. Looks like March 22nd, maybe. So it's about five months old. Um, I think maybe with a year or two this might be better. Hopefully, hopefully some of those other notes will come out and some of that sweetness will dis dissipate. But uh, still, good, solid, um, easily sippable, not drinkable. Um, Russian Imperial Stout, uh, 9.5 out of 10. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.